GDPR is a regulation that stands for General Data Protection Regulation, which has been enforceable since May 2018. Today we're going to be taking a look at what GDPR is, how it works in relation to your app, your business, and how you can be compliant with GDPR regulations. GDPR is designed to protect user data storage and usage and to ensure that the user is in control of their data rather than the companies being in charge of user data. So does GDPR affect me? Most likely, yes. The GDPR applies to all businesses with customers, websites, or mobile app visitors who are from the European Union. This means that any organization in the world that works with EU residents' personal data in any manner has obligations to protect that user's data and be GDPR compliant. But before we get into any details about GDPR, let's first go over a few key definitions of terms we'll be using in this video. The first one is data controller. A data controller is the entity that determines the purpose for and means of collecting and processing personal data. If you own a website or mobile app and you're deciding what is collected, how it's collected and for what purpose, then you are a data controller. The second term is data processor. A data processor is an organization that processes personal data on behalf of the data collector. For example, this can be a third party service that is plugged into your website or app. This can be an analytics tool such as Google Analytics, or it can be a cloud service such as Amazon Web Services that has access or hosts your customer's data. The third term is data subject. A data subject is a person whose data is processed for example, an app user or a website visitor. Now that we've gone over these terms, let's get into the meat of what a general data protection regulation is. Personal data under the GDPR includes any information relating to an identifiable person who can be identified in reference to any sort of identifier. For your website or apps, this means you have to be considering how you collect and store personal identifying details, such as names and email addresses, but also consider things such as user IP addresses and device IDs. So what does the GDPR mean for your mobile app. The fines for not being GDPR compliant are high, either 4% of your annual global turnover or 20 million euros, whichever is greater. So you're probably concerned about whether or not your mobile app is GDPR compliant. Let's take a look at the 10 things you should consider in order to have a GDPR compliant mobile app. Number one is privacy by design. Privacy by design is now a legal requirement under the general data protection regulation. From the moment you start creating your mobile app, you should be considering your user's privacy. According to GDPR Article 23, your app must only hold and process user data that is absolutely necessary. Ask yourself if you really need to collect a user's name and date of birth, because in many cases, one of these fields is enough. So think about your user data from the very start and don't let it be an afterthought. As well as this, you should encrypt whatever personal data you do collect with a strong encryption algorithm. This will help minimize the impact of a data breach. Number two is ask for a plicked consent. Under the GDPR, businesses must request and receive user consent in order to collect, use, and move personal data. This includes data collected for advertising, analytics, crash logging, or anything else. The opt-in must be understandable and clear because you won't be able to get away with any confusing terms and conditions that no one is likely to read or fully understand. We highly recommend showing a consent screen on app launch as this is the only way to be fully GDPR compliant. You should also notify users on these screens when their data will be used. Also, your users must be able to withdraw consent as easily as it was for them to give it. So you might need to create another page on your website to allow your users to opt out. Number three is provide visibility and transparency. One of the most important aspects of GDPR is how the data you collect is actually used. If you're a data controller, you need to be aware of how your users can effectively manage and protect their user data. Providing visibility and transparency through a clear and understandable privacy policy not only benefits the users of your mobile app, but it is also a requirement of the App Store. Google will actually remove your app if they can't find a privacy policy on your Play Store's profile page and accessible inside your app. You may choose to have a sidebar or menu item that links to the legal terms of your mobile app. This will enable users to easily find, read, and understand how your mobile app or any external services are using their data. Number four is respond to user requests. If someone asks how you are using their data, under GDPR, you are legally obligated to respond to them. This is called a subject access request. When a user asks for information about their data or a copy of the data that is used in your mobile app, you have one month to respond. 
For more complicated requests, you have up to three months to respond. A recommendation is just to create a page on your website and mobile app that includes your business contact information. This will allow users to contact you easily and provide transparency from your side. So make an effort to respond quickly and clearly to all subject access requests. Number five is the right to be forgotten. Article 17 of the GDPR highlights the right to eraser or the right to be forgotten. This means that when a user asks you to remove your data acquired through your website or mobile app, you are obligated to remove every personal detail you hold on them. Take this request seriously and comply with the request on every system you control. You must remove data whether you control the data directly or through a tool such as Google Analytics. Number six is review services and SDKs you use. If your app sends personal data to an external service for processing, an example is an app that analyzes app usage, then you need to be clear and transparent about where that is and who will be in control of the transferred data. You should sign a data processing agreement with your data processors, as it is a general requirement under the GDPR. But don't assume that all third parties and SDKs connected to your app are GDPR compliant. If there is a data breach on one of your third parties that leads to your user data being exposed, then you are responsible. Therefore, you should only have contracts with providers who can provide sufficient guarantees that GDPR requirements will be met and your user's data will be sufficiently protected. Number seven, data breach notifications. The GDPR is forcing tighter deadlines for businesses to notify the national supervisory authorities and their users. Disclosure must now happen within the first 72 hours. So make sure you establish a clear step-by-step -step process that you can follow in case of a breach. Now this includes how you will inform your users and the national supervisory authorities of the breach. You may need to invest in a technology that notifies you when a risk is present and ensures that you have continuous surveillance of your data. Number eight is appointing a data protection officer. Your company may need to appoint a data protection officer in order to be GDPR compliant. This applies to you if you are a public authority, except for courts acting in their judicial capacity, or your core activities require large scale, regular and systematic monitoring of individuals such as online behavior tracking. Or maybe your core activities consist of large scale processing of special categories of data or data relating to criminal convictions and offenses. Assess whether or not your business needs a data protection officer in order to be compliant. If so, you should appoint one and inform your website or mobile app users on how they can contact your data protection officer. Number nine is encryption and data storage. Ensure that your app uses SSL and HTTPS for external communications. When communicating personal information of any kind, your data must be encrypted. Not encrypting data means that the information sent will be in clear text and will be exposed over the internet. Number 10 is log and justify your data collection. Article 30 of the GDPR outlines that each controller or representative of the controller shall maintain a record of processing activities under its responsibility. That means in order to ensure your GDPR compliance, you should start documenting all the data that either you collect yourself or through a third party. GDPR is a legal requirement and unavoidable for any business that interacts in any way with people and customers in the EU. Anyone whose data is processed must be able to exercise their rights over that data, even if it's in your control. Be sure to follow these 10 key points in order to ensure you have a GDPR compliant mobile app. I hope you got some value out of this video and if you want to learn more about GDPR, we're going to link several resources in the description below. So take a look at those and hopefully some of them help. As always, my name is Jamarco and I will see you next time.